Hi everybody, it's another Cormax or TFX video and um, this video is going to be the first of a series of videos that I'm going to make of the construction of the uh, Multimedia FF03 Pro from the drive touring car and this is my very first Camellia in over 10 years and I decided to get these cars to do winter racing in a local track and I know most of the people that race touring cars they do race forward drives but I decided to do something a little bit different so I decided to run front wheel drive and see how good I, I can do with that car since I saw videos on YouTube of people racing these front wheel drive cars against the forward drives and they managed to keep up with no problems so I decided to try that formula since back in the 90s, I used to have a um, TO2 uh, front wheel drive touring car and I used to raise people that had uh, the Tamiya four wheel drives and they had the, the first version of the HBI the Sports and I used to give up with them with no problems and also there were people running the comments too so that's why I decided to try the same formula again. So, I decided to buy that. So this particular video is the, is the introduction and the unboxing of the of the touring car. This touring car is going to be a kit. So first, what I put over here on the table is some of the components that I'm going to use in the touring car. So for starters, uh, over here the tires. These tires are sweet tires, and these are the tires that they are specific to be used on the track where I'm going to be uh, racing. They don't let you race any other tire except these tires. So they also they give you these little tiny uh, stickers so they will know that these tires they are the tires that they, they allow you to race over there. So it's not going to have any advantage or disadvantage over the older people. They're going to be racing. Everybody's going to be racing the same tire. Um, the motor that I'm going to be using is a uh, uh, Venom. Uh, and this is a Benham 18.5. This is a used motor that I used to uh, race with my uh, short course truck. Um, that track you mandatory you have to run with 17.5, but in the same way I was using this 18.5 on the off road tracks with the 17.5 trucks, I see that it shouldn't be any problems for the on road track to let me run this motor because the point is that I want you to run a faster motor. so. That's why 18.5 shouldn't be any problems. I might be in, uh, maybe in like a small disadvantage because a bit slower motor than the 17.5. But I just compensate with the gears. Uh, the gears I use for larger pinion gear, and I uh, should equalize, you know, the speed and acceleration that you will get with the 17.5. So this motor is perfect, and they sell these motors on eBay for like uh, $35 cheap, so it's really affordable, you know, especially for a brand name motor. I don't say this motor is the best on the market or anything, but it's a brand name motor, it's a bad motor, okay? Um, the servo that I'm going to be using over here is the servo, this is the servo that I had lying around my toolbox, and I'm not going to bother to buy any brushless or any brand new super servo. Uh, this servo anyway is 0.12 second, um, speed so it's a high speed servo and it's a metal gear servo so it's a Futaba 43 I'm sorry 9350 digital servo so that's pretty much what I'm going to use on my touring car for still. Uh, the, the power connector that I'm going to use uh, to connect the batteries is the Traxxas connector you see all the vehicles that I got including the, my flying vehicles my quadcopters and all my other cars and trucks is the connector that I use. I feel it's more convenient than dealing with the beams. It's more easy to install and everything. And you don't have to bother to use shrink fuel or anything. You just solder the taps to the wires and just snap the connector in and you are good to go. Uh, the receiver that I'm going to be using is uh, Futaba R603FS and this is a fast receiver. Um, is the one that I'm going to be using with my 4PK. And it's a great receiver. I use these receivers on all my 
all the vehicles that have never had any interference. You know, the Tala, they do a great job with that 2.4 ton alley. Uh, the AC that I'm going to be using is uh, Castle Creations Mamba Pro. I know many people, especially on touring cars, the last thing that will come to their mind is thinking Castle. You know, most people, it's all about Tekken or LRP or maybe Novak. But in my opinion, I, I had already over 10 Castle Creation ESCs since the first one that I purchased back in uh, 2008. And I never, never had any problem with these products. In my opinion, it's the best pattern from the box. This ESC do everything you can do with a Tekken ESC or a Novak or LRP ASC and it costs way less. Sometimes it might cost like a hundred dollars less of what you pay for any of those other expensive ESCs. That's true, it's not that small, but it's not that big either. So for the 10 scale, it's perfect. I use these ESCs on my Choco trucks and they work beautiful, they always run cool. And the nice thing is this ESC, you want to do something crazy that make this touring car running you know, maybe 80, 90 miles per hour with a super fast hot motor on a huge parking lot. I can do it if I wanted to because this CSC can handle all the way up to six cells. Not like I'm gonna do that, but the nice thing about this CSC is it can be anything you want it to be. You know, if you want to do racing, you can race it. If you want to do land speed record, you can do land speed record. If you have land speed record, you want to bash, you can bash. So that's the nice thing about this. It's the uh, the wire that I'm gonna be using for this sensor cable for the motor and the ESC. I got some hitch rings over here that I'm gonna use with these wires. The, I already got the castle bullet connectors. And I just wanna put hitch rings in different colors so I can color code the wires, and that way I can match the wires to the in this, uh, to the proper order with the ESC connectors over here. Uh, the body that I'm going to be using is a protoform body, and this body is the LTCR 190mm body, so this body is really, it's really nice. I saw a lot of people at the track using this type of body, so that's why uh, I decided to buy one for myself. Okay. So let me just uh, remove all the stuff out of here and put the car over the table so I can box the car and show what is in it. It's the Tamiya FF03 in the box. I haven't opened this box or in so Just get the scissors. It's got a card in it. It's the pro version, so it comes not with all, but it comes with some of the uh, hop ups that you will have to buy if you were using the the, the, the uh, if, if you were buying the, the one that comes with the body, the regular version. I know there's a lot of those cars out there with different uh, classic front wheel drive cars and new style front wheel drive car bodies. But I just like to play the pro version so I can save money on pop ups. And the problem is, uh, when it comes to Tamiya, Tamiya they aren't that cheap. The pop ups. And I like it because it's also it's a carry case. So once you got the card put together, you can just put the card over here and when you go to the track, you just carry the card. You can save box when the, when the card is in. So, so what we got here. And this is really different from what I used to see from the classic. Tamiya boxes. This thing just look like any other box out there when you open it. Normally Tamiya before it used to have like different chambers and different sections and they put certain things in one side, some other things in the other, the components. Uh, I guess Tamiya, it, it used to be beautiful, it used to be a work of art, you know, opening a Tamiya box in the past. But then again, you know, this is my first Tamiya in over 10 years. So, you know, things change. Well, nevertheless, you know, you got this classic to me, the charm. So, over here, I got, well, I got, I guess I got the transmission parts in here. 
alongside with the shock uh, parts, motor plates, all the stuff. Um, I guess over here is the front suspension parts, and some motor braces I got here, and this is the bumper components. And you see, I think it's for the steering components for the car. This thing here uh, is the, for the suspension, for the front and rear suspension. And I guess this way you used to these the suspension blocks, just like the eight scale car, so you can decide uh, how much throw in you want and so on. These the included rims, but I'm not going to use it anyway because I got tires already mounted on rims. This is the chassis. It looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. It doesn't look like any other tomato chassis that I have in the past. Really, really, really well made. And got the antenna over here. And this is instructions. Instructions. Got some. Uh, this is the setup sheet for the car. It's really nice. It's the first Tamiya car that I buy that comes with this. It's most of the Tamiya cars that I had in the past that were pretty much toys. And some, let's see what is this. I think it's some, it's some information about how to put the car together, safety, some advice, tips. Stickers over here, all for the car. So, it's pretty much it. This is the car, an empty box. It's all stuff that came inside the box. So, a bunch of bags, wrench and everything. We got instructions over here. We got all the parts and everything. So, um, that's pretty much it for this video. This, this was the introduction and unboxing of the Tomita FF03 Pro front wheel drive uh, touring car chassis. And in my next video is going to be the video where I'm going to put this car together. So stay tuned for that one. And the following videos are going to mind electronics, I'm going to do all the settings and everything. And so I do the final video that's going to be the car being raised on the track. Okay, so stay tuned for all those coming videos. And uh, please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Okay, so thanks for watching, everybody.